put your name on, like, like in, entrench your name on the map here in the most competitive region in the United States. Very, very true. As we're going to get it going. Zircon and King Ark setting up for the showcase as this is another... I mean, it's it's seldom seen from a lot of different uh, perspectives. Mega Mans are a rare breed. Uh, they're being uh, King Ark, Maverick Hunter are, are the occasional two that we see, uh, MPG as well. Um, but not many outside of that that you'll see on a consistent basis. And I believe there's only really Mr. Zircon when it comes to the repre representing top level solo Isabel. Yep. And they're doing it better than I anybody. Agree. <laughs> It's going to be a, uh, uh, I would say a cerebral, a very, very cerebral uh, matchup. Um, a lot of a lot of playing from distance. A lot of uh, th these are both distance demons, as it were. Um, but also like a lot of opportunities for really, really creative setups because both characters, uh, well, really more Isabel. Like Isabel has access not only to her own kit but also to say a stray metal blade or like a crash bomber that's in my pocket. Um, so it, things get a lot scarier when you start using your opponent's toolkit against, against them. Of course, you have to be very, very ready for not only some of these conversions that Mega Man has access to, having generally a little bit stronger of an up-close boxing game, though you cannot sleep on Isabelle's insanely solid neutral air, as well as mm. things like the uh, things like her up tilt being so uh, unbelievably strong. But at a uh, with Zircon in the lead and King Ark at a deficit, you're going to see a little bit, you're going to see King Ark trying to push the meta, uh, push the envelope a little bit more, but Zircon has just been on point with some of their defense, making sure to DI all of these ledge trumps and not let uh, King Ark have a free uh. back air. And yeah, the, the, what is I'll, it? I'll, I'll, I will never get used to that. I promise you I will never get used to that. The Wapel, that's what it's called. The, the like jab, jab into like whatever you want, boom. Yeah. yeah. Well, quick 35 off of that, though. No no slouch for sure, but man, Zircon, this mid-range game has been dominated by Zircon and that slingshot, as you tend to do so true. Uh, with the with the Billy Bell type of characters. But usually you see uh, characters like Mega Man be a lot more flexible in this mid-range as the up throw Ooh. off of the fishing hook, and there we have it, a stock lead once again in Zircon's favor. Interesting little side switch and, with the, uh, the leap wave. Yeah, yeah, and, and and Zircon, the way Zircon's been playing, you have to figure that a, a heaping helping of extra credit is in the is in the cards here for King Arc. Um, unless, well, for starters, he's got to get off the ledge. Neutral air after neutral air, and that's it. Oh, my. Isabel may not have a ton of tools that are prominent from an offensive standpoint. I mean, up to and there being the main ones and looking to combo into those up airs and, and uh, down airs off, uh, afterward. Oh, he misses the up tilt confirm and gets hard oh, punished for it. Not turning around that up tilt, which he had the drag down, means that Zircon could choose whatever he wanted for a punish, especially since the platform was not close enough for King Art to land on it. Zircon closes that out with a two stock in rather firm fashion. It really felt like uh, King Ark couldn't get set and Zircon was just playing the Isabel game and getting getting everything they wanted. Yeah, I think you can reasonably look at that last play there and, st and see uh, like somebody who's saying like, okay, I'm gonna go for this. Either I'm gonna bring it to last stock or we go next. Either way, like I'm like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna drag this stock out any longer. Oh, the air tornado gets pocketed. I don't know how much that... Oh, wait. With the vertical combo extensions, maybe that could help out. I don't know. Yeah? In, very individual uh, setups with some of these items uh, that you can pocket with Mega Man on top of just amazing ledge trump DI. Like, Zircon is ready for it every oh, yeah. single time. Which, which you really have to be because, like, Isabel's recovery is so slow that uh, opponents have all the time in the world to set up their, like, to prime their, like, reactions and to prime their timing to get those blood trumps down. Like, if you're not ledge trumping Isabel, then you're not ledge trumping anybody. That was an insanely good stock because it was Zircon pushing King Ark forward. 
baiting out a defensive option and pushing them into the Lloyd uh, the the Lloyd mine that was sat on the on the floor, which then of course led to the the mine into up air. Such an such good awareness from Zircon, who is able to pick he's able to pick up and slow down the pace at their own discretion without any with with King Arc often being left behind in the dust. Ooh. Another ledge trump. Another awry. attempt at a ledge trump there. Uh King Arc not not afraid to keep going for this. And it really feels like King Arc is like that's their that's their MO when it comes to closing out early stocks, or rather consistent stocks at some of these la later percents. Edge guarding and ledge trumping are requirements to close out a stock sub 100 or near 100 for them, or else you're being taken to 160, which is never when you want to close out a stock against a heavy neutral character or defensive character like Isabel. Just holding down center and your openings are gonna be few and far between. And that's that's really what we've seen so far. Uh, and I, the the percents here alone really tell the story of uh, how this whole entire set has gone. And pecking and pecking away with these back airs, and as soon as you jump in, that's when the up tilt sweep comes in, dealing a ton of damage and potentially setting up for more combos. Good angle on that that's on that upbeat in order to get by the ledge, but here we are, reset once again. Okay, and like I, I'm, I'm really liking the adaptations I'm seeing from King Arc here. Um, like able to uh, adjust the recovery to make it around the fishing line. Um, but now, backs to the wall. Everything's on the line here. Winter side is on the line here. Can you? He's gonna, King Arc is going to have to find a, a several more answers here, uh, and time is running out to find them. Uh oh. Oh, gets the rush quote out of it, but so <laughs> Zircon is just chasing him down. You know, I keep saying that Isabel is a rather defensive character, and in neutral, Zircon is in many respects. But when they smell blood, this secretary dog turns into a bloodhound. Okay, but like, have you ever tried to run away from a dog? It's very it's hard. It's really hard. It's very hard. If the, if the dog, if the dog does not want you to run away from them, they, like you will not run away from them. Uh, Zircon showing off. Uh, showing off that Maxim to full effect against King Arc, uh, I would say comfortably moving into uh, top eight winner side. But to say that was a comfortable win really does a disservice to just how precise Zircon's gameplay is. Yeah, I mean, when uh, you're like 